Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can read IDOC data. So we have already have a video where you can check the IDOC data, but it's not in a proper format. How we can get in a proper format? So let's first go to the IDOC. So here if you notice, the IDOC gets stored in this format. So, but when we try to fetch the data, it's raw data if we need to get in this format so let me show you what i'm talking about so this is other code that we have built okay so here you can see i'll just activate this code and we'll execute okay so here if you see i go here and i have this data coming ediddd and if i go into suppose which which uh, which is this place mbkea so this one is the one so if i double click on this and if i go into the data so if you notice the data is raw here so it comes up like this it's not in this tabular format how can i get it in a tabular format? in order to get it in the tabular format if you notice i have written the code so first every so if you notice here if i close this these are all the segments is the, like a structure so you can declare like this so if you go into my code i have declared it as a structure so if you see this is a structure which i have defined so then once i get this data and if i and then what i do is i get this data and i loop where the segment name is the same so if the second name is same then only we just copy this data now before if you notice here the s data is is not readable at all because you have to do substring and all those things is really difficult but when once we, once we just declare push this data assign this data to a structure of the same segment if you notice now this data is wonderful it's in the exact tabular format as it was in this so this is the way you have to write code in IDOC for IDOC. So this is very helpful because you might be needing reports that you have to build based on IDOCs. Okay. So that's it. Uh, stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share it and subscribe to it and have a great day.